All right, we are in 12 December 2023. Uh, I'm going to add another useful resource to your crypto mining toolbox. A new tool. You guys probably know about this, but uh, it's definitely another useful tool. I've mentioned other tools like uh, Zerg Pool. And of course, Nice Hash is out there. Uh, and uh, just a way to find out what coins are out there to mine, which algorithms, and uh, just to get a better understanding of the ecosystem. It's a good resource. But first, let's look at the Bitcoin price movement of today or the past couple days. We had a big downturn yesterday. A lot of people taking their profits. Don't be afraid to take profits. That is a discipline in investing. It's probably one of the most difficult disciplines to master is taking profits because you always think it's going to keep going up. It doesn't. It's crypto. My God, it's like a freaking roller coaster. So it's just if you think you're up and you're happy or before you buy it, set your price where you're happy making the money. You got to make the money to then even worry about the tax implications. Just make the freaking profits first and then deal with the tax stuff later. No big deal. It's just short term capital mostly. And most tax software takes care of it anyway for you. Not a biggie. Just work on focusing on discipline and taking those profits. Yeah, why do I say that? Because look, here we got Bitcoin 41.2. It was at 44. Yesterday, we saw some cool little movement here. Here we have, uh, let me see if I can get that. Oh my God, 43, seven. It's hard to zoom in on this stupid app. Can I do that? Of course, it doesn't let me zoom in. Um, thank you, Apple. Oh my God. All right, so we're down to 41.2. Yeah, it was, uh, it was moving down quick yesterday. People were just uh, taking their profits. It was selling. And then it kind of, you know, leveled out here at about 41.5 and then 41.2. Yeah, you can see it's down 450. Ether, Ethereum, whatever. Uh, Litecoin, doesn't matter to me. These two, these bottom three don't really matter. This is the king right here. And before I move on, I'm going to turn my cursor on so you can see my mouse. All right, give me one second here. I have a little app on the Mac called Cursor something. Screen Cursor. All right, did I turn it on? There we go. All right, can you see that? Look at that. Little green circle, love tech. The little, uh, the little devil in the details. There you go. So right here, you can see it drop down to where it is today. Now, folks, on the horizon, we do have the potential for the ETF, Bitcoin ETF approvals by the SEC first quarter of 2024 oh i'm tired oh my god all right and then that may cause i don't know widespread uh what's the word conventional investing people that don't know much about crypto and then they find out oh blackrock vanguard fidelity whatever have etfs now the old money's gonna say hey put me out uh, 10 percent in there billy bob and billy bob's gonna say no problem Billy Bob will collect his uh, one to three percent commission, and uh, you know those guys will be invested in that ETF, which is a good thing. It'll be regulated, and uh, hopefully, more money will pour in. Hopefully, it drives the uh, price up, and uh, hopefully, it's more. I, I think I said it regulated, not regular, but there's rules, so it kind of will maybe. Nah, I hate to say it. Uh, it's tough. Slow down the big price swings because you in the past you had these big whales with lots of Bitcoin and they would dump it. And they would buy it and they'd dump it and that would make huge price swings on the uh, the price of Bitcoin. It was just crazy back in the, back in the old day, the OG days. Now with uh, with the big boys getting involved, they're gonna want to gobble up. They are going to want to gobble up as much Bitcoin as possible. Anyway, let's get back into it. Enough about that crap. Back. What is the tool I'm talking about? This is the tool you should have in your arsenal as well. It is called Mining Pool Stats. URL is miningpoolstats.stream. Just Google Mining Pool Stats or Bing or whatever your favorite 
freaking search engine of choices, mining pool stats, boom, you come right over here. You can now just say, okay, search a coin, right? You can look at new coins. Gotcha. So let's look for um, Zeph has been popping up because it's a CPU thing. Let's hit Zeph. Oh, it already popped up. <laughs> so when I typed it, it popped right up. You can click on Zeph. Boom. Blammo. And what it does, it'll show you the coin, the algorithm, and then it'll show you all related variants in that algorithm. The algorithm is random X. So that is the core algorithm. And uh, from that algorithm, there's a deviations or offspring or variants, I guess, to use the word variant. Make sense? Good. All right, so if you look through here, you now have uh, the option to go through each coin. But I wanna show you this first. See this pull down? Click on that, look at that. Kind of like the Zerg pull, but a not nicer, 100% nicer interface, more intuitive. You uh, scroll down, you can pick your device. ASICs, showing the algorithm that you can mine on an ASIC. GPU, these are the algorithms you can mine on the GPU. It makes it nice and easy. Again, a great way to learn the freaking ecosystem of crypto and crypto mining, not, you know, either or, right? Now, you know, holy crap, I have a GPU. I can now, not, here's how I mine Kapow. You know, come on, it's awesome. Uh, how else would you know this crap? It's, you're, I mean, come on, you gotta find good, useful resources like this and just go through them, spend an hour going, okay, poke around. That's how you learn, you gotta get your hands on, you just can't watch videos, watching videos all day and doing nothing with it is stupid. Get in there, get to go to these websites, poke around, you're not gonna hurt anything. Turn a rig on one of these algorithms and see what happens. Um, go to Google Drive, pop open a Google Sheets and start uh, logging your uh, productivity on mining, your power usage, blah, 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 all that stuff, your profits. And then over time, you get a feeling, a good vibe of which coin, which algorithm, which mining pool works best for you. Yeah, that's how you do it. A lot of work, but hey, if it's fun, it's fun. And it's a good hobby. And you learn the tech. Tech is powerful, man. People love people that know tech. Because uh, tech scares a lot of people. Even turning this little green circle cursor mouse thing on right there. Ah, that freaks people out. How do you do that? Can I hire you to do that? I'm like, no. I work for no one. All right. So here we have the CPU, we have the Ghost Rider, you can do the Ghost Rider, that's a uh, Raptorium, Bittorium, and a bunch of others. Watch, I'll click on it, Lamo. Now you can see all the coins you can mine in the uh, Ghost Rider algorithm. It's growing, it's amazing, it's kind of cool. Lettorium, Bittorium, I have some Bittorium somewhere in a wallet. If that thing goes to a million bucks, I'm screwed. I gotta find, oh my God, did I whack it? No, I got to find out what rig I had that wallet on. Holy crap. I think it was on one of my GPU rigs I decommissioned. But the good thing about decommissioning is just sitting in dry dock upstairs in a room. And I just got to power it back up and I should be able to get that wallet. Oh, well. Yeah, that's what happens. That's why I like just getting Bitcoin right now. Just pay me in Bitcoin, you know. All right, let's go over to CPU. Oh, I have no idea what the hell I was looking at. Um, Zeph, various algorithms, Kapow. Again, I was showing you all this stuff you can do with these coins. All right, Graveyard, CPU, various algorithms. Oh, where'd it go? Various, various, Kapow, Kapow. Blam, 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 blam. All right. Merge mining. Ooh, interesting. Um, let's look at merge mining. Is that the one with Zill? No. All right, let's go back. Let's look at various algorithms. Interesting. Pulsar coin. Is this thing still a thing? I have a wallet and I'm getting a, I'm getting a staking rewards in this thing. Yeah, you can click on it. And look what happens. You click on the coin of choice. It'll then give you the different mining pools you can then point your miner to. 
So you get an idea of their history, their hash rate, their network hash rate, the blocks, and then the block height and the time it was last found. Some of these mining pools will not get a block for like hours. Look at that, 20 hours. So you got to consider, do I want to go in that mining pool even with the, the, the hash rate, blah, blah, blah. A lot of, lot of variables to consider. The history, all this stuff is to consider, duh. Uh, the number of miners, the fee, all this stuff you got to take into account, right? So Zerg pool's not looking too bad either. Uh, it only took seven minutes to the last uh, found block. 30 minutes is pushing it a little bit. Uh, yeah, in that range, you kind of wonder what's going on. They're smaller pools, but uh, I just like the bigger pools. Why not, right? Our plan's popular. I use that. Again, you just got to go click on it. It'll take you to our plant. Let's see what happens. And then it'll tell you how to set up your miner with the right uh, stratum and how to mine that little puppy. So you just got to go through. It's a matter of just drilling down. How to, how to pick, how to set up your miner and letting it rip. It's kind of cool. You set your payouts. Uh, yeah, I like that one. So let's go back. All right, we just went down a huge rabbit hole. Let's go back to Zeph. Zeph. Zepha. Why is this? Because Unminable made a note that they are mining Zeph in the uh, random X algorithm because it was paying out better than the uh, Monero uh, XMR stuff. Yeah, XMR is Monero. And uh, what, what uh, NiceHash algorithm is, is, let's click on one of these puppies. Ah. They're running the random X Monero algorithm. All right, so let's go back. Blammo. All right, so where are we at? Zephyr. So if you're, uh, if you're bored and you're doing NiceHash and you see, let's go back. Nice hash is not doing too good. I mean, not it's not nice hash. CPU mining is down to about 70 some cents for a rise in 3900X after electricity. So it dropped a little bit. Uh, who cares? I'm just, this is all I care about right here. This number, see my little green circle? Follow the green circle. Timmy, Timmy likes his dog. Timmy, Timmy, doggy poops. Timmy, Timmy has to clean it up. Timmy likes his dog. All right, we're bouncing the song, get it? We're singing along. All right, we got Bitcoin right here, big daddies. That's what we wanna keep stacking. And uh, I don't care about the freaking fiat price. I don't care about the fiat price. I care about stacking them Satoshis. I want that number to keep growing and I'm gonna hold that stuff until I can hold it no more. It's all play money, folks. It's all for fun. And uh, hey, you know, you can go to Blackjack Table and hit it, boom. That could, uh, that could pay a few bills. All right, so yeah, they're mining, uh, their algorithm is X, uh, random X Monero. Let's go back. Blammo. All right, we're all back. Oh, what are we doing now? Zephyr. So let's say I now want to say, okay, I'm sick of this Monero crap. It doesn't seem to be as profitable. What can I do, Crypto Jim? What can I do to make my profits higher and make life changing wealth? Well, life changing wealth is dollar cost averaging over time in an index fund index 500 fund and just set and forget 10 to 15 years, just let it compound. That is the secret sauce. All right, but for fun, let's go play with crypto. <laughs> so we got the Zephyr, bam, bam, bam. This is new to me, folks, so let's go through it together. The Zephyr uh, coin algorithm, well, the Zephyr coin built upon the random X algorithm. So it's a random X variable for CPU mining. There, that's the summation of the whole video, of the whole point of this video. All right, what do we got, big daddies? Woo! All right, we got a bunch of mining pools. And we have hero miners. And let's see. Oh, okay. Hero miners is low fees. Look, they put a little advertisement out there. High rewards. <laughs> uh, they got 9,000 miners. That you can do solo mining, which is you just have your rigs running, hoping for a block. And it does work sometimes. You can't hit a block and with one CPU make 40 bucks or something like that. You just don't know. You just don't know. That's why it's mining. You're out there in the mountains picking away, hoping to hit some gold. Most times, 99%, no, you don't hit anything. All right, here's the fees, not bad. Minimum payout, not bad. Miners is high. This is their... Uh, 
This is their, uh, what is that? Hash rate, network hash rate. Now above it, this is kind of cool. They give you trust pull is the best profit. It's weird it's up here. I don't get this. Why is this up here? Trust pull. This is, a, I'm trying to figure out the, U, the, the UE here. It doesn't make sense that this is up here. Is that an advertisement? Seven day, I don't know how they did that. Was that a glitch? See that, you see what I'm saying? Why isn't trust pool number one for best profit? And why in the hell is it up here? I don't get it. I'm looking, is it down here, guys? You, do you see what I'm seeing? Am I, am, I, am I a total idiot or just half an idiot? I did go to public school, so I'm not seeing it. You see what I'm getting at? On this row is the header row, but in here they have trust pool is the best profit. And then they have miners right here, but it, it's all jacked up. It should be number one here. Who knows? Whatever. Ah. Oh, whatever. 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 Let's go down. So here you get an idea. Each one is listed as based on priority or importance. Hero miners, blah, blah, blah. You're going through and the last block was 11 minutes. And then you got miningocean.org. You can do a solo. And then there's a type of fee right there. And uh, you can see the history. And the hash rate. Now, let's skip the next one. Same old, same old. Now, people, uh, I used to mine Monero Ocean. Again, just another mining pool. They have 3,400 miners on it. 0% pool fee. And remember, you get what you pay for. You got to support the devs, man. They need to eat, too. And if they weren't doing this stuff, you wouldn't be able to mine. So think about that. It's like a tip. Yeah. Blocks minus 6.7. And their last block found was two hours ago. So if you want to actually play around and see what's happening out there with Zephyr or any of these coins in any of these algorithms on any of this page, just go to the first pull, plug the little bastard in, let it rip for an hour or two and look at the stats and you'll get a warm fuzzy about how well you're doing, blah, blah, blah. It'd be nice though. I want to see, it'd be nice to know if you can actually get paid in Bitcoin. Yeah, I don't know. I've not done these. And again, it's been two years since I've done, <clears throat> played with uh, mining pool stats, Zerg pool. Oh my God. And what's the two miners is another one that's out there. That's a mining pool. Uh, that was not bad. I like two miners. I, that was for GPU crap, not CPU, but I, I guess you can do CPU. You just got to look. Things are morphing daily with this stuff. I'm amazed some of these are still around. All right. So what are we doing? All right, there you get an idea. What is out there? What's the length on this video? 17 minutes. Holy schmackaroos. I am sorry. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. All right, let's do a case thing. Zephyr. Hero Miners. Can I do? Oh, I don't know what the hell I just did. Oh, I hit the Zephyr. <laughs> I hit the Zephyr and it reloaded. Uh, let's click on Hero Miners. Together, let's hold hands and enter the Hero Miner dot com site i've never done this before never gone to hero miners zephyr dot hero miners dot com this is the pool baby big daddy Woo! all right so we got uh latest news all right knock yourself silly this shows you the algorithm random x here's your location pick where you live and you went basically pick your location pick your mining pool your uh, stratum URL address based on your location for speed. Again, network electrons take time to travel distance, right? So you want to be closest to your server as possible. It always helps. And you want to be plugged in, cat five, cat six, whatever the cat is, the most recent cat into a high speed router into your fiber optic modem if you got it. Don't use Wi Fi for gaming or um, mining you want the best performance and you don't want that goddamn wi-fi radio waves going through your body anyway so cut down on the wi-fi as best you can plug the thing in that's why they give you a cat a cat jack on these motherboards pro tip pro tip and then you're less likely to be hacked if some idiots drive around a neighborhood in an unmarked van sniffing wi-fi and then you forgot to lock your wi-fi down and then he starts grabbing all your crypto stuff and you're like, what the hell happened, Crypto Jim? I just lost all my Zephyr. Well, the little guy in the van with his little sniffer picked up your Wi-Fi signal and hacked into your Wi-Fi and got all your stuff. Happens. That's why. Pro tip two, 
It's called OPSEC, O-P-S-E-C, Operational Security. Never use public Wi-Fi. Never use public Wi-Fi. Even on cruise ships, hotels, Starbucks, never, 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 even at swimming pools, never use public Wi-Fi. There are people nefariously in those areas just waiting for some chump. You know, I usually have chump written on my forehead and they know I'm coming. I'm not, I'm not innocent of this. And they'll, they'll go, oh, I'm going to see if this idiot does. He's got his phone out. He wants to use Wi-Fi or he's got his laptop. Blammo, they are going to uh, pick up your signal, sniff in on the network and get your crap, your address, your IP address, I mean, and your Mac address, all that stuff. And maybe using Wireshark or that, he might be able to grab some of your stuff as it's going across the uh, airwaves on Wi-Fi. It happens. Wireshark is a powerful tool. You can see all the traffic zipping across the network. Yeah. And there's probably other tools out there. You have a lot of information. You have a lot of money, maybe. And the goal of these people is to take that and put it in their pockets. That's the way it works, big daddies. Welcome to the world of humanity. All right. I'm amazed we haven't blown ourselves up. We made it this far. It's just amazing. Humanity has not disintegrated itself. Just knowing how humans are. Woo! Not another, it's another topic for another video. Pool mining network. Here's some stats. I like the site. I like this color scheme. I always go by the UE crap. And uh, if it's easy to read and intuitive, it's a win. That means these guys have put some time in it. Uh, Zerg pool is the toughest one. Zerg pool, they slap together. It's very informative, but it's not intuitive. So, yeah, but it's a, almost like an engineering <clears throat> pool page, Zerg pool. This one is very user friendly from my first glance. Yeah, you can look over here, look at the stats, make yourself happy, make yourself giggle. It's all good information. And you go down, here's all more stats. I love graphs, warm, fuzzy colors, make you happy. Here's your payment history, all the goodies you need to know. And basically to get started, you can, oh, you can click start. Oh my God, what a concept. You see that? Yeah, you see start, right? But you gotta know I'm in, uh, Say I'm in Western Asia. I'm a Turkey. You want to pick this uh, stratum URL to mine to with the port. That's going to go in your mining software like Gminer. And you see the URL. You want to put that little bastard in there. Woo. All right. Got to have fun with this crap. Otherwise, you know, it's not that fun. Start. Again, here we have the pools. Uh, USA East, where in the hell is that? Vint Hill, and then West is Hillsboro. All right, here are the ports. Uh, what do we got here? Those are the ports you pick. Sometimes they have an SSL port. Uh, yeah, if you're doing SSL, if you do SSL, do SSL. They offer it, do it. That It gives you more encrypted protection. Like I said, people are always out there trying to grab your crap. You can do solo mining using any port of the pool. Just use this prefix before the wallet address. You put solo, that makes it easy. Again, solo, you're just sitting out there on the mining pool. Your CPUs are sitting there waiting to grab a block. And it's all luck. There's a luck thing they call and a percentage of luck based on your hash rate. And boom, you might get that block. And you, it could pay off and make a hundred bucks. Who knows? hundred bucks in the coin. You still got to transfer the coin. You got to sell the coin. And then it's like salmon swimming upstream. By the time you get there, you got a little baby, little salmon left. Because again, you got to pay uh, exchange fees, conversion fees if you're going to swap it to Bitcoin or fiat and blah, 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 taxes, all that yummy stuff. Hey, this guy, he's everywhere. All right. He's, he's in his basement. He, he puts out some interesting crap. So he, he's def, he's in the fight for the long term. The guy puts out good info. All right. XM Rig. Oh, look at this, big daddies. We talked about XM Rig. Probably one of the better ones out there. Stick with it. Keep it upgraded to the latest. Make sure you're downloading from the right site because you may grab the wrong uh, fake site. And then blammo, guess what? All the mining stuff goes to some off-site wallet and you'll never see it again. Pretty easy, guys. Here's your batch file. This is all you stick in it. You already have XM rig, yeah, XM rig installed sometimes you may want to put the path on in front of the xm rig to where the uh, executable does locate just in case so you know you're picking up the right one because nice hash if you're running that as well they install a version of xm rig and then you may have one offs as well 
Uh, you just never know what the path default path setting for your uh, binary lookup is in Windows or Linux or whatever. You want to just hard code it sometimes. That way you know exactly which one it's running. All right, Big Daddies, you got XM Rig. You got your dash O is your address. This is the uh, one we picked. This guy's in DE. That's Jamani. Z Fatherland. Uh, Z Fatherland shall rise again. All right, so we are DE. Zephyr Heterominers, you pick that one if you're there, and then you look for the appropriate one for your location, and up here, here they are, Big Daddies, look at that, DE, look at that, they picked the first one, I was right, it was Germany, woo, Falkenstein, Falkenstein is a beautiful little town, they grow lots of sauerkraut and wiener schnitzel, might be right, I don't know, <laughs> and they have a great Oktoberfest, all right, that's you, is your Zeph wallet address. Do not have a wallet address on an exchange. Never do that. You want to have a wallet address on your laptop, PC, whatever rig. Just download their core wallet. A Zephyr core wallet is what you want. Boom. I don't think the big guys like Exodus and that have it. So you just look. If, if you have a, a, so, a software wallet or a, something else you can download to, that's great. But just get a core wallet. Again, you're going to get down there, pay the exchange, and if you want to dump it, you want to then move it to Coinbase or somewhere and dump it. And then you're paying fees, 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 fees. Yeah, but it's a service. Whenever you're paying for a service, there's a fee. Uh, your worker name, dash, algorithm, RX, dash, you're okay. I might, man, I don't know, man. I'm, bleh. oh, I don't know what to do here. I might do a bake-off. What do you think? I might run one 3900X on this uh hero miners mining zephyr and i might just leave the one rig another one running right here on nice hash and then compare the hash rates and then i think i can compare the profitability per rig if i look at the logs hold on where are the logs big daddies there's right history and stats Woo! they got it all they got it all. And look, you can look at, oh, look, they do. Holy mackerel. All right, they're making my life easy. So I can click a rig right here. And it tells me the algorithm, my rejections, my speed. Look at that accepted speed, current profitability, unpaid balance. I don't care about that. I could run these together and do a, do a bake off. A is, uh, is nice hash. How does that compare to? Oh my God, what's it called? Zephyr. What's it called? Hero Miners. But now notice I'm getting paid in Bitcoin. I don't know how nice has does it. They just pay you in Bitcoin. I don't know if they're converting it and swapping it for you. I think Zergpool does that and you pay the fee, a hefty fee for that. But uh, I don't know. So there's something you can do. Again, this is like, I'm just going through this first time with you. What I would, th what I would do in my, what my little brain th is thinking right now. It's all fun. Again, it's a hobby. I'm going to beat that to it. Beat that. Beat that. Whatever. Beat that point home. I don't know what this expression is. English hard. All right. Um, yeah. So I might just do a bake off. Have one running here. And also, if you're not, if you're not, I don't know. There's other miners out there, right? SRB miner. Some coins and algorithms want you to use SRB miner. Your, your choice, your body, your choice, right? Unless they're forcing something in you. Anyway, that's another story. All right, XM rig, proxy. Oh, what's that? I don't know what that is. Nice hash. Oh, look at nice hash. I, what is this? Pool hopping is prohibited. This is new to me, man. We're learning something right now. Rent a fixed hash rate if you want to mine pool. If your hash rate is fluctuating, mine solo. Failing to comply will result in your funds being locked. What the hell is this? Custom pool name, algorithm, random exponential, which is nice hash, right? Stratum host name port. I have no idea. I don't know what this means. You guys know what this means? I never heard of pool hopping. I don't want to know because I don't want my funds to be locked. Crypto Jim, don't let them lock my funds. Well, don't do pool hopping. Don't do it. How dare you? Be a good crypto citizen. I don't know what the hell this is. Anybody knows what pool hopping is? 
Is it going from nice hash to this pull? Obviously, they have some pull hopping is. It's like bar hopping. Oh, uh, what the hell is MRR? Mining rig rentals. What the hell? Oh, I know. Yeah, you're going to buy a rig. You go in, which is not a bad deal. You go to some of these sites, even nice hash. And I think this is what this deal is. Is you're buying a hash rate on nice hash. You just pay how much and then oh, they have all the equipment or something or you're getting a hash rate. I don't know. Maybe you can customize which pool you're going to and that's what they don't want you to do. It makes sense. I don't know. I just like having total control and I'll stick with the XM rig and don't do the old school gangster. Boom. What do you, yeah. What do you think? That's the way to rock. All right. What else do we got? What else do we got? That's it. I just wanted to show you this mining pool stats. Having revisited this now after a few years, a year and a half, whatever, I like it. It actually is intuitive. It, uh, all of my little former memories have reconnected and uh, makes sense. It gives you more options and explains more than, than Zerg pull, but know that Zerg pull is also in your toolbox. Once you pick this up, you can also go to Zerg pull, play around with that one. Not as intuitive, but I think you get paid in Bitcoin too, but you're paying a fee, a premium for that conversion too, uh, I guess. I don't know. You got to try it. You just got to try things, man. That's all I'm here for is to give you the bread, give you the beer. I cannot drink the beer for you. You have to drink it yourself. All right. On that note, go forth, do great things. Mine, mine, mine. Just keep stacking Bitcoin for fun. It may come out to be nothing, but it may come out to be something. And as the other Bitcoin coiner guys on YouTube say, Bitcoin, it can always go up or crypto. It can always go down. It could go sideways and it could do nothing. Who cares, right? It's just fun. I'm out of here. Goodbye. Blammo. Outro music. Bum, 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 bum.